Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Fryman. Today's medical tutorial is on post-operative instructions for the Whipple procedure. Please note that these instructions are intended for patients who have had Whipple surgery at St. Joseph Medical Center. Discharge from St. Joseph Medical Center after the Whipple procedure usually occurs somewhere between seven to ten days. If complications arise, discharge could be extended to up to fourteen days. The majority of the patients will be are discharged with one tube exiting laterally called a T-tube which will continue to drain bile from the biliary system. This tube is usually clamped in the office at two weeks and removed either at three to four weeks. Staples are removed from the abdominal incision at two weeks or the first post-operative appointment. It is okay to shower we encourage you to use non-allergenic soaps such as ivory soap or Dove uh, and you are allowed to get your incision wet as well as the exit site for the T-tube. We ask that you take walks two to three times a day to continue to help prevent the formation of blood clots in your legs. We ask that you don't lift anything greater than 10 to 15 pounds. Your diet upon discharge is either a full liquid diet or a bland diet. The majority of the patients do need to eat five to six small meals per day. The reason is that the majority of patients develop some degree of delayed gastric emptying which can take four to six weeks to resolve. Your diet initially should be low in fat and low in fiber. We ask that you avoid fried foods as these foods are difficult to tolerate after Whipple surgery as well as possibly causing diarrhea. If you are to continue, if you are, if you do have diarrhea or continue to have diarrhea, we ask that you keep your fats to a minimum and that you contact the office for a prescription for pancreatic enzyme enzymes. An additional medical tutorial on nutrition post Whipple surgery will answer the remainder of most people's questions. We ask that you do not drive a car until you are off all narcotics for pain.
we do ask that you take your temperature twice a day and to record it for your first post-operative visit. We also ask that you record the amount of drainage in your T-tube for a 24-hour period and bring that information to your first post-operative visit. If you have any questions during the post-operative period, we ask that you call the office um, period. Common complaints are sometimes nausea. Prescriptions for anti-nausea medicine such as Compazine and Zofran are available through our office. All additional questions can be answered through our off through the office at 410-427-2024. As mentioned earlier, an additional medical tutorial on nutrition and the Whipple procedure will go into more detail as to what post-operative diets usually uh, entail. I thank you for listening.